Hey folks, welcome back to this speed run and walkthrough for Chris Sawyer's Locomotion. We've got our very last of the challenging stages, which are all very near and dear to my heart. This is Cyclade Capers, so we're going to get right into it. A quick overview, this is a fixed map. Let's get our colors squared away, because why not? Um, yeah, so this map is kind of like a lot of the others that we've seen. Uh, it's, it's an islands map, so there's going to be a lot of either really long running railroads that are crossing the islands here, or we'll, we, we will have to get into using ships or possibly even airplanes to move cargo. I'm going to discourage the use of air travel for this one only because as you can, well, I guess we should look here. Uh, as you can see, these cities are really not big. They can boom up if you are transporting lots of passengers to them and really uh, providing for the city in ways that make it grow. So having lots of stops, uh, you know, servicing the stations often so that uh, they're they're promoted to have more passengers going to them. Uh, but that's uh, that that's a little easier said than done, especially early on. Uh, if you want to get into passenger transportation, uh, fortunately, Vera and uh, Pustapis, I believe, are the two biggest cities, I believe. So yeah, you can actually run a train line right between these two, and you'll get a decent amount of money. Um, however, we should go over our goal real quick as well. So the goal is to get an average monthly profit from our vehicles of $400,000. This is not that bad of a goal, but it does require us to be very efficient and deliberate with the vehicles that we place down on the map. We don't need to deliver a lot of cargo. We don't need to do anything crazy with company value. We just need to make sure that the routes that we do have are efficient and are generating us lots of money. So we're gonna do a couple of things right off the bat. Uh, we're not gonna skimp on any sort of, uh, any sort of um, bridges or, or construction. We're gonna go right at it. And we're gonna try to get the most direct route between our source and destination. And we're also gonna build a couple of extra station tiles farther back from the industry. If that makes sense, I'll, I'll give a better example when we get building here. Uh, the idea here is you're just getting a couple more blocks on your delivery. So you're gonna get a couple more dollars with each uh, cargo drop off that you do. Small things like this do add up over time. So don't, uh, don't, don't discount that strategy too much. Uh, I'm sort of uh, belaboring the point at this stage, so I, we will get right into it. Uh, again, spoilers here. You can kind of see where I'm hovering over the map. There are two very, very easy low-hanging fruit industries in Gro Brokenthos. I think this is a, a it's got to be a Greek map. Uh, in Brokenthos, we have a oil wells, and here in over Machia, we have an oil refinery. Wouldn't you know it, in the other uh, direction, we have a chemical works here and we have a factory here at uh, Elektanis Chemical Works and the Kiria Kasimi. I'm so sorry, I'm butchering the hell out of these. Um, but anyway, what does that mean for us? Very, very easy time setting up uh, easy railroads here. Uh, it is in the year 1960. So stuff is going to be expensive. Don't be too alarmed by this. Uh, however, um, we do have access to very good trains. We have the Century, which is a phenomenally good, efficient engine. It does not break down a lot. Great reliability. And uh, another really great bonus for us here is that we do have the uh, first iteration, or I should say, we do have the later generation tanker wagon available to us. So transporting chemicals and oil is just going to be that much more efficient. If we were to go with something like coal or lumber or steel, uh, if we if we were taking advantage of that, we'd be married to these smaller uh, parts here, these smaller wagons. And unfortunately, not only do they carry less, but they also are, they have a, a much lower max speed. Uh, 60 miles an hour here is not great, but flatbed wagon, this thing tops out at 50. Not good at all. Same thing with the covered hopper wagon. Uh, so we want to try to stay away from that as much as possible. Oh, you know, I misspoke. I totally missed this. So we do actually have the upgraded flatbed wagon, which goes up to 70 miles an hour. It does 50 tons as opposed to uh, 20 here. So I will amend that statement. Uh, steel, paper, or wood 
are totally in game. Uh, the only thing that really makes sense though at this stage would be paper and lumber, and that's just because steel requires you to transport coal and iron ore. And the downside to that is we're stuck with this hopper wagon. So not impossible, but just a little bit less efficient. Um, but that's that's enough for strategizing. Let's get right into building. Uh, I like to start with this uh, oil route here because I think it's just a little bit more uh, straight on uh, with what we're trying to do. So again, we're gonna. I don't want to do anything that's gonna uh, break the bank too much, but I also want to try to get every last dollar out of this route that I can. So we're gonna go right at it. Um, We'll go right there. Uh, we'll evaluate how much uh, we'll need in just a moment. So uh, why am I not going further inland? I don't want to deal with elevation or anything like that right now. Uh, so I want to be right at track le uh, sea level, I should say. And we're going to once again use the uh, unlimited speed bridge here. Money is a factor for us as we're starting off, but uh, we don't want our trains to be slow because, again, we want them to be as efficient as possible. Uh, so that was uh, all of our money pretty much. So we're going to need to take out a much bigger loan. Don't worry, your maximum loan is something in the neighborhood of like $900,000. So a lot to do here. I'm going to go with three tankers. Uh, this is going to lead to a little bit slower of, uh, of of trips. But again, we have a couple things working to our advantage here. I'm going to dial this back down while we're waiting. Uh, we have a couple of things working to our advantage. Uh, we have a little bit of a longer route, and we also have, um, uh, we have, we have a very powerful locomotive here. So this is not going to be too bad for us. And getting those extra 60 tons on every trip is always a good call. Uh, actually, I don't mean to speed this up. I'm going to actually send this train on its way because we want to start generating a little bit of income. And we'll get into the swing of things there once it's uh, going a little bit more. Uh, at the same time, we can get our... Uh, oops, too many things open at once. We can get our chemical works going as well. Uh, again, I'm going to start it a little bit farther back than I might uh, ordinarily do, but of course we need a little bit more money. I'm going to target about uh, the same amount here. Maybe that's a little bit too much, but that's what it is. All right, and we're going to come into this factory here. Uh, could I do a train line that just goes sort of straight in here? I guess we can. I don't ever expect this to be an extremely hopping line. I guess we could, uh, we could do something um, a little bit more creative with that later. Uh, this is also going to allow us to get a little bit of passenger transit as well. Not going to be super critical here right off the bat, but uh, it is going to help Vera build up a little bit, and this could become a hub for us a little later. Uh, not going to worry too much about it right now, though. Uh, in fact, we are going to need to get rid of some of these tracks because... Uh, uh, I'll deal with the rest of that later. Um, as you may know, if a train encounters one of these uh, railroad crossings uh, with a road, we won't exactly be able to... Uh, uh, what's the word for it? Uh, we won't be able to um, uh, make use of the entire uh, station that we build. It will stop at the first break in the station. So. Uh, that's a feature that uh, Open TTD does handle a lot nicer, I will say. But uh, in this game, it just stops at the first one, so not a whole lot we can do there. Uh, so we're we're ready to go here. Uh, we will need more money to actually plop the train down on the rails. We're gonna go the same thing. Three tankers. Uh, oops, that's the well refinery. We want to pop this guy here. Get our full chemicals. I don't think we hit it, but just to be safe. So this train, uh, while we were doing this, oh, it actually got a decent bit here. So we're going to see this train make income very shortly. Um, and yeah, at this stage, it is a little bit of a waiting game, unfortunately, because we want to pay back our loan. 
Uh, we're going to fast forward through some of this and try to uh, get a move on with a few other things. Uh, so Bury Lakeside, Bury Lakeside is going to have passengers here. Uh, easiest way to deal with that is uh, just get some road construction going and uh, get a bus plops down here. I believe buses wise we have the TDH. Uh, this is a really nice bus, takes a lot of passengers, can drive pretty quickly. Uh, this is going to be a very short route, so we really don't need this bus, but no reason not to get it. It's going to break down less. Uh, it costs a little bit more per month, but I don't think it's going to be too consequential here. And again, this is just a little bit of passive income on the side. Uh, and it will also keep the uh, city here in our good graces. Want to make sure we're getting the longest possible route here. Uh, in fact, I am going to extend the road a wee bit. Uh, and now, uh, well, you know what? That's too late. The mistake there was I uh, should have built a paved road, but it is what it is. We'll expand the catchment area. Eh, you know what? I don't think we really need to do it. I think the bus will then prefer to turn, and we don't really want that. So let's uh, let's get this going. Now, again, this is a little antithetical to the rest of the process here because uh, we are going to have not such a great profit here, but eventually, once this is built up, we will have a much better time. Is he doing anything? Empty, huh? I'm really not sure what's going on. Uh, there are very clearly passengers here. There are three passengers on here. Does this station not accept anything? That's extremely bizarre to me. Oh, you know what? There probably wasn't actually any passengers at the station, so a little bit of a sad. All right. Uh, and just again, as a very brief overview here, we do have a few ships that are at our disposal. Uh, the cargo ship is great for taking everything that does not go in a tank, whereas the oil tanker does just that. Uh, cargo ship is definitely better off than the merchant freighter. It moves a little faster. It does 50 additional tons. Uh, this is a very slow moving mode of transportation though. So uh, just tread with caution uh, with wherever you decide to set these up. Um, you don't want to transport food or anything that has a, a very quick deterioration on the, uh, the time it takes to transport here. So uh, Actually, something like this uh, chemical line here, this could have been fine to do via ship. Uh, I prefer to do train, especially off the bat, just because it's going to get us uh, rolling. It's going to get our uh, business income rolling a lot quicker earlier on. Um, and the name of this game is uh, just sort of lo looking for the next, uh, the next train line here. Um, there is an oil refinery here. This could be a way for us to get a little bit more income. I'd really love to get this oil refinery because this is a little bit more oil per month and it's a little bit farther away. So it's going to be a really sweet payday for us. Uh, but for right now, uh, we're actually a little strapped for cash. So I'm going to pay down this loan a little bit. Once we're at a point where we can start building again, we'll start plopping down some tracks. Uh, basically, I just want my current trains to make a few more runs so that we have some more money in our pocket. And we're not going to basically run out of money as we are uh, building. Yeah, again, owing to the lack of uh, proximity and especially the lack of land, the lack of total number of industries, there's not a whole lot here that, uh, that we could do in the short term. All right, so I'm uh, going to get this going a little bit here. Oh, dear. That was... Uh, <laughs> And we waited a little bit too long, but uh, we're going to do way better than these guys will with the ship. I think this is a little bit, not that it's too long, but, oh, you know what? That was a huge mistake because we built the wrong kind of bridge. And uh, stuff like that does matter, so uh, don't make a dumbass move like that, like I just did. Yeah, we're, we're burning through our wallets here. Oh, 
Almost there. And we'll go a couple more. All good. And let's uh, tap out our loan again. We're going to put some trains down. Now here I am only going to do two cars. I just think it's a bit shorter of a route. We also might not even be able to afford the third one. I guess we could. Um, uh, why are we doing less here? Um, well, uh, first of all, we're competing with this um, this other station. So I want this train to be servicing more frequently. We don't really have the funds to have a second train here. We could possibly set something up like this, but uh, overall, this is not going to be... Actually, you know what? I take that back because we have way more oil here than we can handle on one trip. So uh, when this train makes its return voyage, I will add an extra car. And the benefit, again, is that... Uh, Uh, we're going to be sitting at, oh, and you know what? This uh, production just went up, so good for us. Uh, we could throw down a couple more station blocks in anticipation and throw on yet another car, because why not? Uh, notice that the Sentry is powerful. It does take a little time to get up to speed here. Um, we can throw on another locomotive. I just don't think it's necessarily going to be worth it at this stage, uh, even with the extra car here that we're going to add on. So we're going to throw on another tanker wagon. And again, this is a little bit premature, but I know that the oil is going to be there, so I'm kind of just expecting that this is going to be the case. Uh, anything more than four cars here, it is worth either getting a second locomotive or just straight up uh, popping another train on the line. We're not quite at that stage where I would say that's like the best call for us. Uh, but this oil field is actually going kind of crazy. 500 tons. We are transporting a decent bit of it, but there is a, there's a lot waiting for us. And there's going to be way more than what this train can, uh, can handle. So I'm going to uh, prepare us for another line here. I think this is good. Um, It is going to be a little tight on the construction budget here. I don't know why I even bothered with that one. Yeah, it's going to be extremely tight. Uh, we're really pushing the limits of our loan here. Uh, oops. We're, we're definitely not going to be able to afford a locomotive right now. But I do want to just get this track built so we're, we're ready to go. Now, why am I doing this as opposed to um, just, you know, building a brand? Well, I guess, you know what? We'll worry about that later. Uh, uh, take a look. Yeah, there's a lot of oil here, which means we are going to need possibly three, if not four trains. So I'm going to prepare us for that. All right. Wow. All right. 
Now, we could have done this right off the bat. Uh, once again, the reason we didn't is uh, we did not know we were going to be dealing with so much product here. So um, it is good news for us, but it uh, takes a little bit to make sure we have fully set up. Uh, now, of course, this train is going to freak out. And that's working just as we'd expect. Oh, and our chemical ability is uh, doing a little better as well. So all good things. We're going to start with two trains and sort of see where we go from here. Uh, yes, you are right. If you were thinking, uh, man, we need to add some signal blocks here, you are absolutely right. Be doing that right here and for some reason I keep whipping on these uh, these signals popping them in the wrong direction we are definitely gonna need one more so let's see what we could really get out of our loan yeah unfortunately this just is not enough yet so I'm gonna Pay this loan back and in a few short minutes we will have the funds that we need yeah, i'd say we're just about ready actually it looks like uh we've walked away with nothing waiting here so 180 tons. Yeah, we've actually kind of tapped this. So if this goes up anymore, we could uh, we could potentially add another train here. But for the moment, uh, I think I think we're generally good. Uh, our rating is pretty good. This guy's rating is going to be pretty crappy. Uh, but again, we have to now attend to our chemical facility, which has gone up in productivity, like someone else is doing uh, stuff over here. This bus, I hope, is making money. Yeah, it's making a tiny bit of money. So first things first, let's get an extra train on here, or an extra tanker wagon. Now we'll start over here. Keep it simple. I guess we didn't even need to erase that piece of track. Definitely going to need more funds. Now, this is a classic case where we kind of already built to the sort of spot. Actually, we can sneak it in. Who am I kidding? Ah, uh, of course. Total whiff. Well, we're going to have to use our technique of essentially... Uh, building through this intersection. Uh, we'll correct all the bridge types later, but uh, essentially we need to... Uh, we do want to connect here eventually. Um, just going to erase a few things to make this easier to see. So 
we need one more. Ah, oh, we're good here. Now, for purposes of this, I am going to leave this in place just for right now. Once that train is gone, we'll continue with the construction here. I should say deconstruction. We wanted to, we only had that in there temporarily. Really what we need to do right now is get the crossers in place. We love this game, don't we? Don't we love it? Oopsies. This is uh, not my best work here. Make that nice and even. Ah, right, we didn't do that. How silly. Sitting here like, why isn't it building? All right. Oh, this is going to be ruthless, isn't it? There we are. Okay. Perfect, it's already going the right way. And the absolute worst thing about these types of uh, bridges is that you just cannot see. I've debated whether they're actually like worth it, but I think they kind of always are. Uh, I believe we put the crossers in over there. Oh, no, there's no station there, so that's a little bit of a miss. Hopefully it can cross. Nope. Terrible. Absolutely terrible. It'd be so much better. But alas, we're here. But we're having fun. We're having fun. We should be back in business now. And we could clone this train a couple of times. We got lots of chemicals here, so. Wow. That's our oil wells again. Uh, so it probably is time for another train. Yeah, wow. They already took our uh, really long haul here. I think this has gone up. Oh, it hasn't actually. That's interesting. That'll be one we'll get into eventually. All right, so we've uh, finally put a little bit of a dent in over here. I think these two trains are going to be good for the moment. Uh, yeah, looks like they're duking it out. So you can see we're actually doing great on our goal. We're at uh, almost $200,000 profit from vehicles. It's only been two years. Uh, this is only going to go up. Um, might even be time for a fourth train here. Yeah, let's, let's get another train on here.
Oops. This was the train we needed to get situated. I totally just screwed up somebody's route. Yeah, we actually, we shouldn't care about money here. We're starting to, we're going to start to see a little bit of a backup. Uh, eventually, it will become time to turn this into a row row station. Uh, don't know if we're necessarily there. You know, we, we might even be there. Um... I might actually just build another system and keep this at uh, how many? One, two, three, four. Yeah, three trains is working pretty harmoniously. I'm gonna just build another system. It's gonna be less of a. Uh, it's gonna be less downtime for us compared to if we were. Um... Uh, stopping the existing system to turn it into a row row. And we're going to do it uh, right off the bat. I could just bring this over here. That certainly makes it easier. We're gonna get our signals right off the bat. While we have the room, we might as well make it a little bit longer on the back end here. One, two, three, four. We overshot that a little bit. Uh, we also overshot that. Ever more? Is, do we have anything there? No, we don't. All right, let's get our signals. And we just need to do now our crossover. Sometimes clicking is hard to get the track going the, the way you want it, but uh, I think that honestly is the better way to do this. Another thing we can do is always throw another uh, uh what are they called another uh another tanker wagon on here but frankly i just don't uh i don't see a ton of value in that because it's just going to make these trips a little bit longer and we ultimately don't want that so i'm going to move this train over uh just because I know I want three, and I want these trains to sort of uh, sort things out on their own. All right, we got the timing there.
timing here should work out as well. And again, the timing is always best effort because uh, as soon as a train breaks down, all of this kind of goes out the window. Uh, we can now pay our loan back. Uh, we are getting to the point where air travel is going to become a bit of a possibility for us. These trains are all like really kind of clusterfucks together. It's not great. I'm going to stop this train just to give it a little bit of breathing room from the other. Again, all best effort. Uh, check on our goal. We are... We're really close. We we did not actually build the headquarters. Might as well do that here. I think most of our uh, good stuff is here. Hooray. Um, believe it or not, it's actually this train here. This is our most profitable train. Oh, and you know what? This uh, station totally went up in value. So it is definitely time to uh, get another route here. Um, get that going in a moment. Of course, uh, see, we uh, definitely got a little screwed by not expanding this quick enough. But what we can do is make this train a wee bit more profitable in another way by making it much longer and throwing more tankers on there. I'll wait for it to come back. So we're going to throw, let's throw three more tankers. Let's do five. And two more locomotives. Because why not? Power is great. All right. And uh, should be good to go here. Now this should have a ton of power. Wonder how much it's actually going to take. 480 tons. Now you can see it's not perfect. It is going to take a little bit of uh, acceleration to get to full speed here, but this is going to have profits through the roof. This is already our highest earning uh, train, and we just more than doubled its total capacity. Uh, it's already up to speed here. Uh, I'm, I'm not concerned about the power required on this train at all. Uh, and it unfortunately, it looks like we missed a uh, station block here. So that's going to be a little awkward to unload. In fact, this might take a very long time. And that's why you don't uh, screw up your stations. But uh, if we look at that, I mean, $103,000 in 30 days. Like, this is... We're going to the moon, man. This might even be too much for us. That's actually kind of insane. That wasn't even done by a matter of... Uh, uh, of, of, like, glitching the game. Hopefully we can get a little bit more uh, production there. This train is going to go down in productivity if it has to wait a while, but if we're seeing this amount of uh, this amount of profit, uh, an extra couple days is not going to be the worst thing in the world. Just want to see sort of where we're at here. Under three thousand dollars, thirteen days, and yeah, we're we're still doing plenty fine here. All right, and now uh, we get to play a fun game of simply, where do we have the most crap? Uh, oh my, got 3,000 tons here. We're going we're gonna to have to do it again. I, I think our choice here of not doing row row was a very good one because we would have probably been tempted to uh, continue adding trains to the loop, and I just don't think that would have been that great for us. Uh, oh, you know what? That didn't, didn't even matter. Um, well, there you have it, folks. Uh, as per usual, uh, this one was actually really quick. I was kind of surprised. Uh, I don't recall these uh, these industries like booming up quite as much as they have here. I mean, 7,000 tons of oil, kind of ridiculous. We have a ton waiting here. Um, you can see like this train, it's just the, the profits just keep, keep climbing. I, I'd love to see where this actually goes. I mean, we're at 14 days, so it's doing roughly one of these a month because uh, it does have to make a trip back. Where is this one? Uh, this is uh, the one a little bit farther away. If we had gotten uh, into the game at this oil rig, it probably would have been even better for us long term, but yeah, see, there you go. Uh, it, we must have had two deliveries in this month. 
Um, yeah, insanely high profitability here. Uh, that's going to do it for this one. Uh, kind of short and sweet, I guess. Uh, well, not the shortest, but uh, for a challenging stage, it's pretty quick. Um, that's going to do it, and that's going to put a wrap on all the challenging stages here. So we are through beginner, easy, medium, challenging. When we see you next time, well, when I see you next time, we're going to jump right into some of these expert stages. Uh, I am going to, in uh, against popular convention, I am going to avoid the 100-year challenges. I think these are going to be sort of a treat for the very end, just because they are kind of insane, like, Achieving 90%, like Tycoon, does take a while. There are ways to get to it a lot quicker, uh, from what I remember, but I really like to milk these. These are probably going to be done over uh, several videos. Um, but we are going to try to go as fast as we can. This is a speed run after all. Uh, we'll do a preview of all these probably in the first video in the expert stages, but uh, that'll be it for this one. Thanks for tuning in and uh, being with us for all this content up to this point. Got a lot of stages under our belt and only a couple more to go to close out the game. That's all, folks. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time. Have a good one.